Apple just launched iOS 12. So how does it perform? Let's find out. This video is sponsored by iCareFone. Transfer files between iOS devices and PC or a Mac flexibly. You can export and import music, videos, photos and other files in just one click without any hassle. It also can backup and restore your data selectively and instantly. Check out the description to know more. So let's start off by doing a quick boot test. iOS 12 is an incremental update with optimizations and performance improvements. Believe it or not, both iOS and Android have got really similar. It honestly is a game of catch up between the companies. They seem to be acquiring features from each other. iOS 12 is set to double the speed and performance across all the Apple devices starting from iPhone 5S. That's crazy as the 5S was launched back in 2013. It mainly optimizes performance with apps launching up to 40% faster on even older devices. I highly recommend updating to iOS 12. Visually, iOS 12 isn't any different from iOS 11. It still has the same user interface with a few tweaks. In iOS 12, there's a new feature called Shortcuts. It lets you set up your own custom phrases for Siri. Like for say you are heading back home, you can set up a command I'm home and set up actions like turn on the lights and play your favorite music and many more things. iOS now has a feature called screen time which calculates your weekly activity of how you use your phone. It also can limit you to use apps. Like say you can set up a time limit on using Instagram daily. When it comes to notifications, now iOS finally has group notifications. Finally. iOS 12 brings improvements to augmented reality. You can now get measurements of different things around you, like say a box. It also now has support for multi-user augmented reality. You can now play AR games with your friends in real time iOS 12 also updated news, stocks and iBox apps. It also improves on a set of new tools like do not disturb during your sleep which limits annoying notifications while you get up from sleep and check your phone. Battery wise iOS 12 is on par with iOS 11 so that's that. So now let's do some benchmarks. FaceTime also has been updated to support group video chats up to 32 individuals, which is really intelligently designed. Okay, so these were the main features I found out to be interesting and trust me, there are tons and tons of more features and improvements. So guys, do check out iCare Phone. It handles annoying iOS problems and device failures at home without any professional knowledge required. So that's it for the video. Hope you guys liked it. Give your thoughts on iOS 12 in the comments below and please do subscribe. Till then, take it easy.